Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, have we got a show for you tonight on this episode of Raise the Bar. Let's meet our contestants. Hi, Raise the Bar. We're from Meadowbury. We like this community. We like to give something back. We're going to raise over £10. If you raise us all for a tenner, I'll have to make a cup of tea for you. I'll give you the tenner right now. Anyway, we really, really want to be on the show. That was interesting, wasn't it? The show, they're very creative people, aren't they? So the competitors have to prove to the judges that they have what it takes in order to reach the final event. We'll give them a series of random tasks to test their teamwork and time management skills. Let's find out what the first task is. A goal last night. Yeah, it's all right, mate. We've got to make cakes. We can't make cakes. Do you think we are, Delia? Mm, let's buy the stuff then. Who's going to buy it? You do. That really is teamwork at its finest. Why did you buy flowers? It was on the shopping list. It's a different type of flower. Oh. It's a blooming disaster. Let's hope we've got more love in the kitchen, eh? The cakes are nearly ready to come out of the oven. And with only minutes to spare. Hmm, they look nice. You can buy them in the <laughs> shop, you know. Hmm, it looks to me like they did buy them in a shop. The judge will see you now. Let's see if that impresses the judges in the boardroom. Be seated. So group, how do you think that went? A little birdie told us you didn't even make the cakes. Is that true? It was all his idea. It was a challenge, but we made it work. <laughs> oh yeah. So after careful consideration, we have decided to put you through to the next round. You did show good problem solving skills. You will do better next time. Thank you and good luck. Phew, well that was close. I wonder what the next round will throw at them. Show your skills and join the big league staff versus students father side football match. Yes! Yeah! I hate football. Oh. <laughs> it's time for the final challenge on today's episode of Raise the Bar. The clock is ticking now to get those names down for the match. Will they get a team? Or will they be hanging up their boots for good? I think it's nearly time for kickoff. Over to you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, two teams go head to head to win the trophy of a lifetime. Right. Line up today, we have playing for the students. Joe, Jack, Emma, Andy, and Adam. For the teachers, we have Ian, Jerry, Mick, Rushy, and Anthony. A great lineup for both sides there. We are down to a penalty shootout, putting each player on the spot to test their accuracy and concentration. 
The trick here, folks, is to put the ball in the net. Something that not everyone manages. They're showing more pride than parents at a school play. Am I wearing the right glasses, or are they all shaking hands? It's time to talk to the judges one final time. We will see if they think that this group has what it takes to reach the final stage. Well done. That certainly was a great match. Not only did you work together as a team, but you deserved to win the challenge. Are you disappointed that you lost the match? No, we have loads of fun. Trolls, that's all that matters. Great. Well, you have all proved how hard you can work. I think you all now deserve the final challenge. Remember, teamwork is dream work. Who are we going to raise this money for? They were playing last week. As you know, we're top in Primark. Come on, guys. Be serious. Needs to be for charity. Helpful heroes. Yes. Yeah, that'll work. And so the day has finally arrived for Meadowbrook to complete their fundraising event. All of their hard work will pay off. It's been an incredible journey, with many ups and downs, but throughout it all, they have stuck together. Look out! It's Spider-Man! Oh no, wait, my mistake. Okay. Okay. Nice and safe. Okay, so you can turn around and face the ball now. Hold on! This is a real cliffhanger. Someone call 999! Oh dear, he's climbing up the Eiffel Tower now. Sacre bleu! I think he's taking the long way off. Is that Sydney Opera House? Oh, this is just too scary to watch. Some great support there. They have all done themselves proud. There's not a dry eye in the house tonight. Let's see how much money they've raised. I'm on the edge of my seat. Uh... All right, guys, time to count out the money we've raised. Don't forget about the promise you made. A whole year of my country. So, just to recap, in the plea video for the show, he promised to make the teas for a year if they raise over a tenner. Did a tenner already? Woo! I'll have to put the kettle on. Wow, they have raised a whopping one hundred and fifty pounds for help the heroes. One hundred and fifty pounds is is a fantastic amount for for what you've done. So um, just like to say that you know, from on behalf of of the heroes and our injured soldiers, who that the money is going to support, um, a fantastic effort. So just thank you very much. Well done, everyone. High five, long around. So we want to cover then. Oh, me too. Milk, no sugar. And so that concludes this series of Raise the Bar. It may not be Stephen Gerrard, or know how to bake, but ladies and gentlemen, they have achieved greatness today. 
and raise a huge sum of money for charity. Tune in next week for more challenges and fun.